game cookery is fantastic. It's the original organic meat. The start of the game season means ahead of us is nature writing a lovely menu. Well, it's just, I think, such a special time of year when something comes in and the window of using it, you know, the window of opportunity is so small. It tends to be really full flavoured, it's wild animal, so, so there's, it, you know, there's just much more flavour to it, it's not a farmed animal. My favourite dish to cook with game is undoubtedly a pave of wild fallow dinner. I'm old school. I like the traditional grouse with the fasa gratin on a, on a heart-shaped crouton the way the French do. I have to say that the grouse is the best for me because it's the strongest flavour. Good years, bad years, golden clover. Here I am with a venison hot dog. The wood pigeon for the flavour. You know, you shoot wood pigeon this time of year onwards up until sort of Christmas. They're just so full of so much flavour. In the UK, we definitely need to be eating more game, uh, venison especially. I think you need to double the amount of people that stalk deer just to get the deer population under control in the UK because they've just got no natural predators. And it's, it's such a wonderful meat as well. I think we've got 60 million rabbits running around this country, but we're still buying them from France, which, which I think is madness. I think culturally we should all accept it. As it's not like such an upper class thing. It, it's, it's something that we have eaten for years and we should eat more of, and it, ultimately it tastes really, really good. If people understood a bit more about the countryside, if they understood you know, a bit more about wildlife, I think they would probably eat more anyway. It breeds itself, it has no antibiotics, it doesn't need any help, and it's part of nature. That taste is so hard to replicate. I don't think anything farmed would ever give you the flavour of anything that's wild.